two inspiring residents are making history. First, local author George Kingston joins us in the studio to talk about his second book. You may recognize Kingston from the planning board. Not only is he keeping property boundaries in line, but he's also the source for a good read. This dual autobiography dives into the famous collaboration between architect William Vaughn Allen and builder Fred T. Lay, who together constructed an iconic structure, the Chrysler Building. I'm a member of the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission and I was at one of their annual meetings and somebody made the comment, how many people know that the man who built the Chrysler Building came from Springfield? And that kind of intrigued me, so I thought I'd look into it and discovered uh, the story of Fred Lay, who was the general contractor for the Chrysler Building and who got his start in Springfield. And at the same time, I ran into the story of the architect, which was William Van Allen, who was very well known at the time and considered one of the most creative American architects of the first half of the 20th century. And so I thought I'd take the two stories and weave them together and make a book out of it. The real theme of the book is about the revolution in building that was going on between about 1890 and 1920, 1930. So they were both very heavily involved in this huge revolution that took us from low masonry buildings to the skyscrapers we see today. Really enjoyed doing the research. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. A lot of this information comes from old newspapers. And you really, newspapers are only somewhat reliable. And so you have to read through the articles, extract the information, and then verify it. And that's, it's, it's like I say, a jigsaw puzzle. You get a little piece here, you get a little piece there. You try to put it all together into a coherent story. And, and that's where the fun part of writing comes in is turning it from just a jumble of facts into actually an interesting story. Our next local star is recognized for her outstanding service in our community. Retiring after 30 years in the school system, we congratulate and celebrate Administrative Secretary Diane Tiago. I got started volunteering in the community because of my oldest daughter. When she entered kindergarten, I got involved with the PTO over at Meadowbrook School. Years of volunteering and fundraisers and so forth. It was just an automatic thing to do for me, uh, to be part of the school system. It just seemed normal. For those that don't know, I'm the Assistant Administrative Secretary in the Superintendent of Schools Office. I've enjoyed talking with parents on the phone. I've enjoyed trying to help parents with some of their situations, and, and I'll just say, you know, trying to pay for that bus transportation fee. It's a lot, and people's incomes are different and so forth, and you know, figure out what's the best thing we can do to help you out for installment payments, or you know, what can, what can we do to make your life a little bit easier. I got involved with the Friends of the Library and um, they needed a treasurer. And my name kind of got around in the community that I did this kind of thing for the schools. Uh, they wanted to become a nonprofit organization, you know, working to try to help um, obtain funds to help with construction of the new library. So that was a part of becoming a nonprofit organization, was to help and support financially the library. 2002 or so, um, I was elected to be a library trustee. And uh, so I'm on for another three years. So when you take into consideration the years I did back in 2000, you know, 2002, I did two terms back then. Looks like I'm back for another, <laughs> so it'll be four terms, so we're talking 12 years on that board as well. I have a lot to be thankful for with the library and with the school. I've met a lot of wonderful, wonderful people because of both of those connections. And I just think it's important to be a part of the community. And if you have any talent or if you have some special gifts, 
And if you have some time, and sometimes they say the busiest people, somehow or another, they seem to be able to make that little bit of time that's just enough to make something change and help make, make things change for the better. So now I'm going to retire in a couple of weeks and spend some time, a little more time, with my husband and our grandchildren and the family because that's what's priority.